Welcome to today's reading for the Oxford Dreamline. The Oxford School District reminds you that great books are a passage into our dreams. Now for today's reading. Hi, my name is Claire Eric. I'm a third grade reading teacher at Della Davidson Elementary School. I'm so excited to read this book for the Oxford Dreamline. Today's book we're reading is one of my favorites. It is Dragons Love Tacos by Adam, Adam Rubin. This one's such a fun one. Enter the taco world. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and teeny little baby tacos as well. Dog looks a little confused. You know dragons love tacos. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make a friend with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? from the taco cave. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. No Spicy Salsa, a guide to dragon's cuisine. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles when draggy, dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good typings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Oh, he's like, mm -mm, nope, I don't like it. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions and teeny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. They're just like them. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? But his calendar has a little taco. It's got it circled. He's ready. It's counting down. Just remember, remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all of the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. House is filled with tacos. It's a lot of tacos. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. 
Congratulations! Successful party. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? What does the fine print say? Now, with spicy jalapeno peppers. Uh-oh. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa? Those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Uh-oh. What's going on? What are they doing? What are they doing? Crunch, crunch, crunch. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Oh! Too late. Oh, no. That'd be scary. Oh, no. Where'd the house go? It burnt the house down. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in there for the taco break. Hopefully there's none of that salsa on those, in those tacos. You have to rebuild it all over again. After all, dragons love tacos. The end. I hope you enjoyed Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin.